Okay. I'm going to say, everybody, hope you could see. I don't think you're seeing what I want you to see over there. So I, that's why I put the cards up. Okay. The card box. Up. And maybe this one. Michael Candle. Okay, I'm going to put you down. This is part one, as you can see from the title of this video. This isn't the whole video for Scorpio, because Scorpio, I told you I'm going to do you, but I just, I'm doing part one, okay? Part two might come as a live, you never know. Um, but I'm going to do part one, which involves just some of my reading of my notes. I have sage burning because I had a bad experience with my Palo Santo sticks. I just told Devin about it. I don't know. They're not, I don't know if they're the right ones. They're not burning right. So I'm doing good old fashioned white sage. Okay. And I got a candle burning from my friend of mine. Well, she used to, I used to see her. I, don't, I haven't seen her lately, but it does, doesn't mean she's not there. Her name is Christina. Um, she was a sub of mine, and she gave me this beautiful candle. She also gave me a beautiful quartz necklace, and I'm fondly lighting this. I saved this for when I really am trying to manifest um, my artwork. And when you're trying to manifest, it doesn't always come out as soon as you do it. So I have some affirmations because I do try to, uh, I don't just talk my talk. I try to do what I talk about. As you could see over there, it says, my artwork heals, my healing artwork sells every week um, of every month. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. And over there, it says, there is a market for my healing artwork. All over the world I sold to England Africa New Zealand and India um, and I meant all over the world but those are the those states came up and I did sell in New Zealand I have sold in New Zealand and I think in England once or twice or I sent my book there anyhow um, so you know I practice what I preach I have to manifest too and manifesting is not easy you have to pray you have to meditate you have to listen to music and just try to sit with yourself and god and see what's important to you i don't even know what rocks i'm holding up right now but they were next to my chair and they feel really good i don't want to show you me because i'm a hot mess okay so Scorpio, come out to play, yay. Scorpio, it's your day, yay. And then, um, Sagittarius is next. Okay, but first, Scorpio. He is the first part of Scorpio. I hope this is still, yeah, this is still rolling. Okay, so Scorpio is unknown for transformative, intense, passionate, secret, carnal, thorough, obsessive, intimate, primal, lusty, deep, eternal, resourceful, mysterious, regenerative, compulsive, destructive, manipulation. So the last five are the negative parts, but the, the, all the other stuff is, um, the, the many positive of Scorpio. And they, this particular deck called Scorpio the animal um and they show the snake they show the flower the poppy flower okay I'm not going to go into it everybody knows a Scorpio in their life all right so when I sh when I shuffled the cards they just told me to do that again I don't think I hit all the chakras when I shuffled the cards I I do my new thing is what two crystal cards that you need and <clears throat> I got such pretty I got tiger's eye which I thought was interesting and I got turquoise which was also interesting so first I'm going to read you tiger's eye tiger's eye is place this powerful stone on the third eye during meditation the high vibrations from the earth and the sun enhances psychic abilities 
This has been carried as a protective amulet for centuries. It brings courage and energizes the spirit and balances the chakras. Okay, so it gives you energy and it balances the chakras, but what it did didn't say on this card, which I have a, another set of uh, cards that are really good, um, but I I don't want to bring them out right now. They're all about crystals. Anyhow, um, Taika's Eye is really a psychic stone. It's very psychic. Um, you might have seen me in the past wearing a headband that has a necklace that had Taika's Eye, um, and I was wearing it against my third eye. I got very good reading. I was very silly. I looked like a insane person, but <laughs> I felt like I got a very good reading because it stimulates your psychic third eye. Okay, so Tiger's Eye is good stone for you guys, um, ter uh, Scorpios. And then we also have turquoise, which I love. And I have all kinds of canvases that have turquoise in it. Okay. Anyhow, this beautiful sky blue stone is a healing stone. It is especially powerful when used on the throat, solar plexus, and third eye. So that's three chakras that this covers, right? The solar plexus is your stomach, okay? The stomach area and your organs, your liver, your stomach, your liver, your gallbladder, okay? Um... And the throat is for expression, everything to do with the thyroid, the thymus, and your third eye, everything to do with psychic abilities. So it says it's been known to calm mood swings. Oh, yes, please. I need this. I need the stone. I know I used to have a lot of it, but now I don't know what happened to it. So I'm going to get it. Um, it's used to calm mood swings and stabilize running thoughts and worries yes please yes please at the same time it can stimulate romance and love who doesn't want some more romance and love i know you do scorpios you won't admit it but you do want romance and love okay so those are your two crystal cards at least for the rest of this year that you need okay all right. They just told me to show you this one again. I don't know why. All right. Now, your two animal cards. See, I have to do this in a section because I do have to go to the store to make a delivery at the post office. Um, so I'm basically getting done with your crystal cards and your animal cards and your notes. Then I'll do straight up cards and psychic um feelings okay so the first card that came up is cheetah and it says get clear on your intention scorpio stay focused and move more quickly to achieve your goal think like a cheetah be very focused on what you want for the remainder of the year going into the next year okay if you always wanted like a better job or you've always wanted to start a new business start getting super focused and get clear on your intention. If you want to change something in your home or your family or your friends, get clear on your intention. Stay focused and move quickly to achieve your goal, like a cheetah. Yes, do it, Scorpio. Stop dragging your feet. You must do it, Scorpio. Otherwise, you're going to be like... I've wasted another year and I don't have all my goals. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right. Okay. And the next animal card that you got is a mercat. I forgot about mercats. Okay. Get support from a trusted group of like minded friends. Get support from a trusted group of like minded friends. Don't be afraid to reach out, Scorpio. You don't always have to be the hero. You don't always have to be the person. You don't don't act like an Aries. Oh, everything's fine. I got this. Okay. Be reach out to you like-minded people, people that think like you, people that are nutty like you, because they will help you.
okay? Mercat. Mercat indeed. Okay, do you guys appreciate these holders over here? Whoa, look at that. I love looking at the smoke. All right. And then this is very hot. I'm sure it's going to be really hot. No, it's not that hot. Crystal Divine gave me this. So beautiful. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, just the notes. Um, and that's 11 minutes in. All right, so this video should not be more than 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'll do the rest later. Okay. Maybe in a live. I know I said that already. I'm just repeating myself. Because I have to friggin' procrastinate. No matter what I do, I got to procrastinate every second of my life. Okay. Here we go. All right. So, Scorpio. Um, Some kind of moon we had. I don't know. Um, You'll have to ask my sister, soul sister, Tracy, um, about the moons. I, I don't know which moon is which. I used to keep up with it, um, but I have fallen behind. But around November 17th, there was some sort of special moon. The moon was in a special phase, and it was for manifesting what you wanted, an awaited goal. It's a big deal. November 17th was a big deal. So think about what you would do in November 17th, Scorpios, okay? And it's okay if you didn't uh, put out your goals and you weren't clear. That's all right, because you can always manifest. You can manifest three o'clock in the morning. You can manifest um, at six o'clock in the morning. Whenever you feel the best, whenever you feel like you're, um, you're most awake or you're most uh, awakened, <laughs> um, then you just write it down on a piece of paper. Like I wrote it on top of pictures of Jesus to try to get it up to God. All right. And then I look at it because I sit here and I look around as I procrastinate before I do what I'm supposed to do. All right. So um, spirit wants you to start manifesting again, start writing it down, being more clear because um, it is a big deal. Something that you wanted around the 17th of November, you could still have. Um, in terms of. Sorry, I'm going to just. I'm just going to go all crazy, um, as usual, uh, in 20, I'm going to flip around from 2023 to 2024, 2024 is taking care of money, taking care of the money that is coming in, in inheritance, traveling light. Um, when they, they tell me traveling light, that doesn't just mean physically traveling light. It means kind of spiritually traveling light. In other words, get rid of the things that you had from the last five to seven years that you no longer need. Even toxic relationships, even friends that are toxic. <coughs> Sorry, the, the sage is starting to be toxic to me. Um. In 2024, prepare Scorpios, especially Scorpios, prepare to be taking care of elderly people, whether that be grandparents, parents, um, they're going to require more attention um, and you're going to have to schedule it in. Um, so parents, grandparents, or even a neighbor might need your help um, because they are elderly um, and you're just the person to do it. Um, because both male, masculine and feminine, um, feminine divine, masculine divine Scorpios, um, are very like, they might not think of themselves as a healer. They are almost like, like you give a Scorpio a problem and they might say, like my daughter always says, like, bummer, sorry, mom, bummer. And then she'll give me a picture of a black heart. Um, and then I'll tell her. I don't like when you give me a picture of black heart. It's scary. It's like negative. So then she'll give me a picture of a blue heart, knowing full well that I am representative of a purple heart. Okay. But then she'll call me the next day and she'll say, how you doing? How was today? So what I'm trying to say is Scorpios take in information and then they follow up with maybe su suggestions, or oh, maybe you could do this, or maybe you could do that, or they are good listeners. Um, so that's why 
um, spirit is saying that you will be um, taking care of an elderly parent or grandparent or neighbor or friend um, because you are right for that job. Um, a slow-paced energy is coming in 2024. Don't rush it. Hone um, what you want to get done. In terms of family, home business, started or be begin again. Okay, so they kept on telling me, Katrina, I'm not talking about something new. There's something old that the Scorpios were doing back in the day when they were being really creative, when they were being really listening to their guides um, about what they would like to do and what they would like to manifest. Think about that. They, they're telling me that's going to make an appearance again, but that's a good thing. Um, and don't rush. Don't rush into it. Um, family business started or begun again. Just remember, begun again, those two words. It'll make sense when it makes sense. Self-made Scorpio. You think I'm lying? Self-made Scorpio? Okay. Um, <laughs> Self-made Scorpio. Um, because that's what Scorpios do. They are self-made. Um, they are self-taught. Um, my daughter taught herself guitar. I mean, she had a couple of lessons from Tony, the next door neighbor, but basically she did it on her own. And then she did the same thing with electric guitar, um, and wrote songs and whatnot. Uh, independent ventures coming up, globe trotter traveling. Okay. I know some, some Scorpios are happy about that. Globe trotter traveling, single Scorpios, you will meet your good companion. Did you hear me, single Scorpios, Lisa Sarn? You will meet your good companion. I didn't say you're a significant other and you're going to get married. You're going to meet your companion. That is very good for you. Um, money will be lucky, but use it wisely. Make sure that you have some saved for a rainy day. Um, yeah, so Scorpio... Pisces is around you and Capricorn very hard. Pisces and Capricorn very hard, coming in hard. Um, Scorpio, you are still learning your love language. Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, sometimes you're afraid to ask for what you want in terms of love, in terms of friendship. Um, like It's like you're afraid to say, you just want to be independent, Scorpio, and life doesn't work that way. You know, you have to be able to ask for what you want and what you need in your love language. Okay. And sometimes our love language is changing, um, from year to year, from five years to five years ago, it might've been something else. 10 years ago it was totally different. Okay. Um, but express yourself more and, um, you want a hug or more passion. Okay. Um, if you want to hug, what happened? Sorry, guys. Sorry. My Casper goes nuts. He just goes nuts. He might have saw something. It's okay, baby. Okay, he's just going to do that. Okay, so Scorpios, if you want a hug or more passion, then sometimes you may push people away and say, don't touch me, LOL. <laughs> I remember when I wrote this. Okay, um, so in other words, don't, don't push them away. Don't say, don't touch me, <laughs> because that, that's what they'll do, and then they won't touch you for a long time because they'll be afraid they don't want to you know so you might have to tell that person you know what sometimes I would like a hug sometimes I would like to cuddle sometimes I would just like a kiss on the cheek or a handshake <laughs> anyway um yeah so they the spirit guides want you to express yourself more on the physical on the physical um you want a massage somebody just said that I want to I want a massage, but I want that person to just give it to me without me asking. Okay, no, you have to ask for it. 
they don't know that you really would like that massage. So you have to ask, hey, the next time, you know, um, could you please just uh, massage my temples or massage my shoulders or massage my feet, whatever it is. Um, most likely they're going to say, yeah, because they want to please the Scorpio. Um, drink water, drink more water, Scorpios, uh, swim, get in the water element because you are a friggin' water sign. Huh? Do you hear me? Okay. So drink wa more water, swim, take a bath or shower, even a shower. Sometimes in the shower, just stay in there a little bit longer because what's happening in the water is your friggin' emotions and your third eye are melding into one. I know that sounds weird, but I'm just saying it as I'm getting it. Uh, I don't really understand it myself. I'll have to look it up when I get in the car to go to the post office. But they're saying something about your third eye and your emotional... Like everything comes together because you're a water sign. So you need to be exposed to water more often. Um, and if the only thing available is a shower then get in the shower. Sometimes you might have to go in there twice um, because that's when you're going to figure things out. When you're in the water and if you can go into a pool, a jacuzzi, be careful in the jacuzzi, Matthew Perry said. Um, and that's not a joke. That is a straight up thing. Um, uh, because Matthew Perry had heart problems. Anybody with heart problems or blood pressure problems has to really be careful in the jacuzzi. Everybody has to be careful in the jacuzzi. Because um, when I was drinking too much in the jacuzzi and I could have died myself. Because uh, I stayed in the jacuzzi over an hour and I was drinking. Okay, so be careful with jacuzzis. If you go in the bathtub, you have to be stone cold sober. Okay. That's what Whitney Houston said. I'm not trying to joke here, but a lot of people are dying in bathtubs and jacuzzis, okay? So be stone cold sober and take your shower, take your bath, go in your pool, go in the ocean, go in the lake. Um, but if you can't get a vet, those aren't available, a simple bathtub, a simple shower will do, okay? Um medical problems this year going into next year um be careful with pelvic floor issues i know that sounds effed up okay <laughs> um but this is both male and female okay like i did with the libras both both male and female um scorpios will have issues with pelvic reproductive issues okay so that is the uterus could be doesn't have to be uterus for women uh ovaries for women uh anything to do with the uterus uh, vagina um ovaries i felt hot on fallopian tube um issue and with men it is the gonads <laughs> I don't I don't mean to laugh. I don't mean to laugh, but I I'm not getting the words. I'm not getting the words. I don't have it written down. I only have this written down. Okay, also guys, kidney, bladder. I'll just show it to you. Kidney, pelvic floor, reproductive issues, kidney, bladder. Okay, kidneys and bladder when they have trouble, gallbladder, tea with lemon and water, more water. Scorpios okay you're a water sign and you're not drinking enough water and I know I'm I'm not either okay but I drink I drink a lot of coffee and that's made out of water okay what I was getting was <sighs> when you have an issue with your bladder anybody anybody in the universe not just um for some reason I heard Libras, um, some reason, I, and I'm talking to Scorpios, but now I'm talking to the collective of whoever the frig is listening to me, okay, Mr. Grady Bunch, and anybody who stops by, okay, whenever you have a kidney problem, I tell this to Devin, and, um, because he's diabetic, so sometimes when you're diabetic, you tend to get the kidney stones more often, 
But your girl has had kidney stones too. Your girl that's talking to you right now. Your girl meaning me. Okay. Um, so I go in my Louise Hay book and I look up what is the metaphysical spiritual meaning of getting kidney stones and having a lot of U UTI issues. And, you know, I can't just say I'm a dirty bird and don't take enough showers, which Devin tells me that all the time. But um, actually, there's an affirmation for it. It means that you're angry about something. You're angry about something and you're upset or is there a lot of yelling or is there a lot of criticizing around you? Like if you're a little kid and you get a lot of UTIs, which I did, okay, unless, you know, there's some sort of abuse going on. But if you just in general, like nothing is happening except maybe some screaming and yelling in the house and you feel criticized or you feel angry at your parents for something, well, they're kind of angry to you, you don't feel safe, you'll get a UTI, you'll get a bladder infection, you'll get a kidney infection. If you hold on to the hurt, if you hold on to the anger. All right. So there's affirmations for it. Um, I'm sure I did many, many videos on it, but uh, you could just look it up. Let me look it up for you. Echo, what's the metaphysical meaning of a kidney infection? Pyelonephritis is inflammation of the kidney, typically due to a bacterial infection. Symptoms most often include fever and flank tenderness. No, that wasn't what I was looking for. Um, echo, what's the metaphysical reason, reasoning for a kidney stone? According to Mayo Clinic, kidney stones are usually caused when there's not enough water in your urine and too much of substances like calcium and uric acid. At the same time, your urine may not have enough of the natural substances that prevent kidney stones from forming. This combination causes minerals and salts to stick together and form kidney stones. Some kidney stones also develop after you've had a urinary tract infection. Echo, stop. Echo, you're being ridiculous. Mm. <laughs> She's mad at me now. Okay. Echo, what did Louise Hay say about the meaning of kidney stones? Louise Hay believed that unprocessed emotions can cause physical symptoms, including kidney stones. She believed that understanding the spiritual meaning of kidney stones is connected to releasing emotions. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I was going for. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and there's affirmations for that. All right, so what did all of this mean, this tangent that I went on? I'm way talking way too long, and I got to get out of here. Um, to go mail a present. So take care of your emotions, unprocessed emotions, unprocessed anger, little spurts of anger. If you keep it in, it's going to show up metaphysically. It's going to show up in your body. All right. Um, me and Devin try to talk about everything. So if we have a little angry, angries against each other, which of course we do. Um, nobody, no couple is perfect. Then we talk about it. And then once we've talked about it, we feel a little bit better. Even if we didn't resolve it, I didn't get my way. He didn't get his way. You still feel better. Okay. Um, and so you need Scorpios, you need to talk about it with somebody. Okay. Um, and drink more water. <laughs> All right, so insecurities, hidden fears are associated with the kidneys and bladder. Why couldn't I have just read that? Because you didn't see it, Katrina. You were talking to uh, Echo over there. All right, so prostate and groin area would be for the men and testicles, okay? I might have said something similar for the Libras, but that's what I was getting. I can only get what I can, I, I, can, I only write down what I get and um, tell you guys. All right. So Scorpios below the waist, you got to watch out for. All right. Both male and female, a good teacher, dark hair, brown eyes, dark complexion will teach you something. Okay. Did you hear what I said? A good teacher that has dark eyes, brown hair, brown complexion is, is good to be around you. They will teach you something. Okay. 
Oh, that's not a good burn. See, all of these Palo Santo sticks are not good. And he said he got them from a good place, but there's something wrong with them. They're not burning right at all. They're putting carcinogen. See how black this is? And all right. all right, let me get back to Scorpio. I'm going to have to just burn white sage tonight. Okay. Anything else, Spirit, for the medical? Yeah, a lot of stuff with the parents, with your parents. You're going to learn something about your parents that you didn't know, and you're going to kind of feel bad for them. Um, but you, they never told you, but you're going to find it out. They might, they might tell you now. They might say, well, you were too young. I didn't want to worry you. Um, yeah, there we go. That's a good burn. See, that's a good burn. There we go. Hearts. Money signs, hearts, okay. All right, so, and I am getting headaches um, for you guys too. Uh, behind the eyes, um, get your glasses. If you have glasses, you might need a new prescription. If you don't have glasses, um, you might need to get your eyes checked. And if everything's okay with your eyes, Usually, when I get my headaches, it's metaphysical. It's a problem with my crown chakra or my third eye chakra. Well, there's something in my head, on my mind, that I need to get off. Okay. So a good teacher with dark eyes, brown eyes, dark complexion will teach you something that's important. I do get the letter R being important. Um, an older person is really important to you. Um, or will become forefront in your life. Uh, it could be because you're going to be helping take care of them. And you'll learn something from them. Uh, parents, trauma. Yeah, you're going to you have parents. You have trauma from your parents, but then you're going to learn that your parents had trauma. And you need to forgive your parents. Okay, Scorpios, you need to forgive your parents. They tried to do the best that they could. Um you need to not think of them as perfect people because nobody's perfect except God. And just see them more as individuals. And see them, if you're a parent yourself, um, then you could give them grace. If you're not a parent, then you really have no idea. If you're not a parent and you're being very hard on your parents, you're like, hey, you know, my parents did this wrong, did that wrong. Well, you're not a parent, so you have no effing idea, do you? You don't. You can't, you, you can't say. You can't say what you would do because you're not in that situation. So give your parents a pass. They tried to do the best that they could. Are they perfect? No, they're not. I'm sorry. I, I seem like I'm being snotty. <laughs> I don't, whoever just came inside my body, <laughs> whoever just walk through me, um, needs to exit. Okay. Parents, forgive your parents. Don't hold any unforgiving feelings. Very important. See, I'm going to show you. Don't hold any unforgiving feelings. That's your base chakra, which is red, orange, and peach. <clears throat> Meaning, um, if you're having any problems with your parents, that's the foundation. That's feeling safe. Maybe you didn't feel safe as a kid, or maybe you didn't feel safe. Maybe you felt safe, but then they got divorced and you didn't feel safe anymore. Um, whatever the whatever the problem was. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Yeah, so work on your base chakra which is red, and then I also threw in orange and peach, which is sacral chakra as well. Have those colors around you. Okay, guys, um, that's all my notes. Um, I'm going to ask if there's anything else, spirit guides, and then I'm going to definitely come back and do the rest of the cards. Maybe I could just pick one card. One second. Yeah, okay. In terms of love, 
Where's my love cards? In terms of love, something weird is going on. Like, I just heard something like, I want them to be my mommy. I want them to be my daddy. Um, but they're not. Okay. And because they're not, if you have a mommy and daddy available, like you might want your partner to be too much. And if you still have like a surviving, a living parent, try to get closer with them. And then your spouse, your significant other won't have to carry so much, um, and could go back to being a friend and then a significant other, and then maybe they can make the next step. Somebody is mixing up the roles of their future spouse or their future or their present, um, their present significant other because they have a problem with expressing themselves to their parent that is alive. Okay. I don't know if that makes sense. I just say, they give me a question mark and I say, what do you mean? And then that's what they said. Okay. So sorry if I'm not being clear, but that's, that's all they gave me. Okay. Could you, I'm going to end with a, um, a love card. And then, like I said, I'll be back when I, when I'm back. Okay. Can you give us um, spirit guides and God, Jesus, and all my spirit guides, and the spirit guides of Scorpios out there, Scorpio masculine, Scorpio feminine, feminine divine, masculine divine, okay? I need to know what's going on in the relationships now. What do you want to tell them in their love life, in the Scorpio love life? What do they need to know from the angels? What do they need to know from God? Scorpio's moving forward for November, December, going into January. What do they need to know now? November and December. Scorpio's, thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Oh. They just said make three piles and pick. Okay. I'm going to make, literally make three piles. You're going to see it. How did this table get so messy already? Somebody please tell me. Scorpios, Scorpios, Scorpios. Scorpio friendship and love. Scorpio soulmate and love life. Scorpio sexually and love life. Okay. Now they told me to put it back together. And then they told me make three piles again. I heard this in, in when I was sleeping. I heard make three piles, make three piles. And I was like, uh, I'm trying to sleep over here. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. Scorpio's love life. What, what did the angels want to tell you? Would you pick from one pile one pile two or pile three? Okay. Well, all three might resonate, but let's see. If you pick, if you feel more good about the left, pile one, pile two, pile three, or pile A, B, or C. Okay. Pile one. I'm going to flip over all of them. Okay. Pile two and pile three. Okay. So you got three straight up three cards in the love life. For Scorpio, but the one that might resonate the most is from each pile. Okay, I know. I just confused myself. Um, I could imagine how I confused you. Okay, so this says, release your ex. Wow. Scorpios, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Look at that. That's very important. Because you can't really get down with your present person until you've released your ex. Interesting. Pile two. If you resonated more with pile two. New love. New love. Look at the angels behind her. New love is being sent to you. A new person 
has stirred your romantic feelings. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. That might be for the singles. Or it could be for the not singles. <laughs> okay. Hey, I just read them. I don't make them happen. Okay. Then, if you picked pile three, romantic feelings. Look at this one. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yes, they are. That's what I've been trying to tell you in the notes. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Start exploring your romantic feelings. Scorpio. I like that. Okay. Scorpio, I told you I was a hot mess. Look at this crazy hair. I look like a scarecrow. I got my weird purple shirt on, but it's so comfortable. Okay, anyhow, I hope you like that. Okay, that's the first part. I told you I was going to do you, and I'm going to do you right. Namaste.